Hey boys and girls, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys have been enjoying all the videos that we have been doing for you guys. I've seen you guys have been very active and I really like that. That's a thumbs up. Today I'm going to read you a book. I love, love, love this book. This book is very silly. It has um, a little bit of a different um, accent to their talk. So we're used to talking like this in California, but in Texas, they have what they call their Tex-Mex talk. And so they have a little bit of a different accent towards us, towards our speaking. So I'm gonna try really hard to implement that in our story. So this book right here is um, really funny, really interesting, but at the same time, it really makes you think. So let's look at the cover right now before we start to read. So remember, this is the front of your book. So we're going to look at the cover because we also need to read our title. But before I read the title, I want to see if you guys can guess what it might be about. So see this little lady right here? Her name is Miss Billy Armadilly. That is her name. Doesn't she have a silly name? Miss Billy Armadilly. Oh my goodness. Now, Miss Billy Armadilly has something in her hand. Can you see that? It's a bowl. It's a bowl of something. What do you think it might be? Is it soup? Is it noodles? Is it beans? I don't know. We will find out. So let me read you the title of the book. And the title of the book is Armadilly Chili. And the author of the book, remember, the author is the person that writes the book. They write the story. And her name is Helen Ketterman. And the illustrator, I don't know if you remember, who can tell me what an illustrator is? Mm, I'm listening. Okay, let's see if you got it right. The illustrator is the person that draws the pictures. Wow, this illustrator really did a magical job. Look at how good he drew that spider. And look at how good he drew Miss um, Millie with her uh, fancy pretty hat. Oh, he did a good job. Mr. And his name is Will Terry. All right, are you guys ready? All right, Armadillo Chili. Look at that. Look at all of that artwork. Man, he is very artistic, isn't he? All right, let's get started. All righty. Oh, look at all those chilies. I wonder what they're going to use those chilies for. Are they going to make salsa? Ooh, sometimes salsa is spicy. I don't know if they're going to make salsa. Maybe we need to buy some chips for their salsa. We'll see right now. Oh, wow. Where are they living? This don't look like where I live. I wonder where they're living. Let's figure it out. Ready? Miss Billy Armadilly skit scat scattered down the lane. A blue norther's a blowing and my old cold bones are rattling for a pot of hot armadillo chili, said Miss Billy. Oh my goodness. Her bones are rattling. So she must be like mm, a little bit cold, huh? Look, see the clouds blowing the wind? Miss Armadilly is a little bit chilly. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's see. Oh. Is that her friend? Look at that friend. He's wearing a big old cowboy hat. And he's got some fancy boots. And he's a spider. All right. She was gathering beetles when her tarantula friend Tex came by. Yeah, she's getting beetles? Do you eat beetles? I don't. Let's see. Let's see what she asks her tarantula friend. Hey, Tex. I'm making a pot of armadillo chili, said Miss Billy. How's about tipping your toes over this way and helping me gather a box full of beetles? So she just asked him for help. She said, can you help me get the what? The beetles? Ooh, I hope they don't plan on eating them. Hmm, let's see. What do you think he's going to say to her? Now, if she asked you for help, would you help her? I would. I won't eat the beetles, but I'll help her pick them. Ah, Tex wiggled his long, jiggly legs. Oh, shucks, Miss Billy. I'm going dancing today. Do you guys like dancing? 
I love dancing. So Tex is going to go dancing. That's why he's got on his fancy dancing boots. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what he's going to dance. Is he going to do the Macarena? I don't know. I don't know if they do the Macarena in Texas. Let's see. Then, ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at her face. Ooh, she don't look happy. She looks mm, angry. I wonder why she looks upset. Is it because he said no? I don't know. Let's find out. Then I'll fix my box of beetles myself. Her and Bippity Miss Billy. Hmm. She's pretty upset. Let's see if she does it. All right. When she finished, Miss Billy headed over to her garden. She was picking jalapeno peppers. Ooh! Jalapeno peppers and chipotle chilies with Mackie the bluebird swooped down from the bush. Swooped. He went down into the bush. Oh, look at that bird. He's really fancy. He's got a straw hat on him. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. I could. Oh, a cold northerner is blowing. Mackie, how's about whistling? Use a tune and helping me pick a peck of peppers for my armadillo chili, asked Miss Billy. So she asked now him if he could help her pick some peppers. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to help her. Do you think so? Let's find out. Not today, Miss Billy, said Mackie. I'm shaking my tail feathers to the movies. So she's going to the movies. I want to go to the movies. Hmm. Uh-oh. So now that's her second friend that's not helping her. Miss Billy snorted. <clears throat> then I'll pick them peppers by myself. Hmm. Does she look happy? She still looks upset. Let's see what happens next. After she finished, Miss Billy scurried to the prickly pear cactus patch and started chippity chop, chippity chopping. Her friend Taffy, a horned toad, looked down from the rock. How's a gal supposed to concentrate with such a racket going on? What do you think her friend is? She don't look like a frog. She doesn't look like a person. I don't know what she is. And her name is, let's see, what's her name? Taffy. All right. Taffy, I'm chopping some cactus for my armadillo chili, said Miss Billy. How's about helping me chop a chuck or two? She looks happy. What do you think? Miss Taffy is going to tell Miss Billy. What do you guys think? Now, how do you think Miss Billy feels already? Like, how is she feeling? She's already asked three of her friends to help her. And they've all said no. One is going dancing. One's going to the movies. And I don't know what Taffy's doing. Let's find out. Oh my goodness. Can't you see can you can't you see I'm lacing up my skates? I'm skating the day away, said Miss Taffy. She's gonna go skating? And Miss Taffy is a lizard. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh oh. How is Miss Billy gonna feel again? She's probably gonna be upset, you're right. Because None of her friends are helping her make the chili. She already picked beetles. She picked um, peppers. And now she's picking cactus. Beetles, peppers, and cactus. Hmm. What could you make with beetles and peppers and cactus? Well, we probably wouldn't eat that, but we're not an armadillo like armadilly. Let's see. She began to fix her armadilly chili. So she's making her famous armadillo chili. Did you know that in Texas, chili is a big, big thing? They love them, their chili. And it's not chili like chili, spicy chili. It's like chili. We're used to eating it like chili beans here. But over there, they just call it chili. 
she mixed and stirred and cooked and stirred some more some <sighs> she looks happy soon the armadillo chili bubbled on the stove i can almost smell it mmm it's starting to smell delicious and i don't even eat beetles let's see my pages keep getting stuck ooh Miss Billy was carrying out the trash when Tex tottered up. Howdy, Miss Billy, said Tex. It's a mighty cold night, and I could smell that armadillo chili you're cooking all the way home from the dance hall. Oh, all of a sudden he can smell her chili. Mm-hmm, because he's already done dancing. Miss Billy plunked the lid on the trash can. I have a saying, Tex. No working with Miss Billy, no sharing the chili. I'm afraid you are danced yourself out of a dinner, cowboy. Whew, I'm sorry you feel that way, Miss Billy. Takes world around and hurried home. How does, how does Tex feel? Kind of looks upset, huh? Hmm, because Miss Billy said, no helping make the chili. No eating with Miss Billy. Hmm. Kind of has a point. They should have helped her, don't you think? Miss Billy stood there feeling sour. She was sour and sour as a scorpion. She was upset. Suddenly, Mackie blew in on the cold breeze. Ooh. It's a rough wind of blowing, Miss Billy. But I could could face it with, if I had to, with some warm, with a warm bowl of your chili. It's smelling good. What do you think Miss Billy's gonna say? Uh oh, what do you think she said? Look it. <gasps> Sorry, Mackie, snapped Miss Billy. No working with Miss Billy, no sharing the chili. Maybe remembering that movie will keep you warm. Mackie's tail feathers dropped and he flew away. Oh man, he sure sounds, looks sad, huh? Ooh, look at, look at Miss Taffy. She's all, oh, oh, she's so cold. Miss Billy went inside to stir and taste her chili. It needed a little something. She dropped a few more peppers. Oh my goodness, she must like her chili a little spicy. She threw a few more peppers in the pot. Ding dong, Miss Billy answered the door. Taffy stood there shivering. I'm, I'm, I'm freezing, Miss Billy. Could I beg a bowl of your ar armadillo chili? She chattered. What do you think she's gonna say? Look at, oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Miss Billy shook her head. Land shakes, Taffy. A horned toad with goosebumps is one sorry sight. But no working with Billy, no sharing the chili. You're right. Taffy shivered and scattered away. Oh, man. She just told all her friends, no, no, no. No working with Miss Billy, no eating the chili. Finally, the chili was done. Ooh, look, it looks, looks delicious. It smelled Delicious. Miss Billy took a taste. Her ears dropped. Her armadillo chili just wasn't right. But I thought she tasted it and I thought she said it was good. What do you think is missing? Hmm. It tasted flat as a Texas prairie. She checked her recipe. She hadn't forgotten anything. What was wrong with my chili? Hmm, what do you guys think is wrong with her chili? Do you think it's missing an ingredient? I don't know, let's find out. She looked around her kitchen, was warm and bright and cozy. Outside, the wind howled and whistled. Miss Billy peered out the window into the um, darkness. I know what I forgot, she said. I wonder what she forgot. <gasps> what do you
you guys think she forgot? I'm not going to show you. What do you think she forgot? Ready? Ding dong. The doorbell rang again. Miss Billy opened the door. Who do you think is out there? Mackie, Tex, and Taffy stood in the front of her door. She gasped. Land sakes, your noses are as blue as I feel. What are you carrying there? They got something. What do you think they have? Look at that. All three of her friends. <clears throat> we got sacks full of apologies, Tex said. Well, come on in, said Miss Billy. Apologies? Does anybody know what apology mean? Hmm. Apology. Let's see what it means. I brought a thermos of hot apple cider. Oh, I love apple cider. For sipping with friends, Mackie said. I bought hot jalapeno biscuits for stopping with friends, Tex said. And I brought a homemade chocolate fudge of sweetness to sweeten up. Taffy added, Miss Billy hugged them all. Friends, that's what my armadillo chili was missing, was friends. So they apologized not by saying, I'm sorry, because that's what we do when we apologize. If we accidentally hit someone or we bump into someone or we, or we hurt someone's feelings, we have to learn to apologize. And apologizing means we got to learn to say sorry. But they said sorry in a different way. She, he said, she said sorry by bringing some fudge. He said sorry by bringing some delicious jalapeno bread for the chili. And he said sorry by bringing some delicious apple cider to drink and share with all of them. How do you think Miss Armadillo Chili, I mean, Miss um, Billy Armadilly felt? Yeah, right. I think she was happy. Her, she was going to eat with her friends. The four friends sat the table together, then talked and laughed along in the cold, blustering night. Look it. What do their faces look like? They look pretty happy to me. So let's see if that's the end. And the armadillo chili was perfect. So as you can see, at the beginning, her friends were not being very nice. They didn't want to, they didn't want to help make the chili, but they did have plans. So Miss Billy needed to understand that too, that they had plans to go somewhere or do something already. Now, she did kind of get upset, didn't she? And she kind of used some harsh words when she said, no helping Miss Billy, no eating the chili. But I really do like at the end that she decided that, you know what? Nice hot bowl of chili tastes better with friends. So I hope you enjoyed the story. It is one of my favorites. And also, I just want to know, have you ever felt like Miss Billy? Have you ever felt like... um? You needed help or you needed someone to listen to and everybody was too busy to help? If you have, just let me know. You can send me a voice message or you can record it. I am glad that we read this book because it is one of my favorites. So have a wonderful day.